Okay, this is the Waveforms software from Digilent connected to an Analog Discovery 3. And I'm just going to explore a little bit about the wave generators internally. So what I ha have here is I've added um, three panels to the screen using this uh, drop-down thing here. And what we have on the first panel is a, the oscilloscope with two channels. And down below, I have the wave generator two channels. So uh, they're both right now generating the same waveform, which is a uh, sine wave at one kilohertz, at one volt, one kilohertz. And if I want to look at them on the scope, I can select them over here. Now note it has... Um, the two analog channels coming in. It has the two wave generators also available to be um, displayed here. And it has two more wave generators, three and four, which correspond to the power supplies. So we can actually set waveforms for the power supplies as well. So there are four wave generators here and two analog input channels. So let's look at channel one and we can see the sine wave at one kilohertz. And if I look at channel two, it's the same, not in phase. So let's just see what happens if we want to change the waveform around a bit. Um, instead of a simple waveform down here, I'm going to go to modulation and I can select FM modulation or AM modulation or uh, SOM and so on. So I'm going to select over here amplitude modulation and I've set it up with a square wave modulation. You can pick all kinds of different waveforms down here. We'll try those in a sec. But right now, I'm just going at 20 kilohertz square wave with 50% modulation. So if I go to 100%, you can see that the entire waveform is modulated. But I like the look of that 50 for, for now. Let's go back to 50%. So I want to line these two phases up. Uh, I can do that by messing with the uh, angle here. Just eyeballing it. I don't know exactly what angle I need. Let's see. Okay, um, I'm not sure if there's a better way, but I have now set it up so that these waveforms are in phase. And you can see that uh, the one volt has been um, modulated by 50% on channel two. If I want the uh, channel one just to show an outline of the uh, modulation, I could adjust it to say 1.5 because it's 50% modulation and you can see that it it follows the outer um, envelope. If I wanted to follow the inner envelope I could do this and just put it to 50 or half a volt. 
Now th these are interesting in my per my opinion. They look very nice, but let's look at just creating some oddball shapes here. So if we um, want to try instead of a square wave, let's try a ramp on the modulation. That's kind of cool. Pretty hairy. Um, go back to the square wave here. And what if I, instead of going with a sine wave, I do a ramp on the carrier frequency. And wow, look at that. We, You can create these very strange waveforms with just a click of a mouse. So I think this is very interesting, very flexible. You can really make some wild and woolly waveforms without any trouble at all. And there are so many things to adjust that you could be doing this for days, just um, playing around and finding new waveforms. You know, we haven't tried much beyond uh, a couple of different shapes here, but there's there's uh, a lot more to, to select. And there's a lot more things you can do, like changing the the frequency and the amplitudes. The There's all kinds of different modulations you can do. So I just want to give some flavor that this is a very flexible tool in terms of generating uh, really strange and uh, different waveforms. And there's all kinds of ways to visualize them as well. Uh, up here along this menu we can uh, look at say a spectrogram or a spectrogram in 3D which is incredible that you can be doing this kind of thing it's not this particular waveform isn't all that interesting but it uh, it's a view I've never seen before we can kill it over here And let's try one more wave shape here, a trapezium, which is a sort of um, squared off sine wave. And uh, if we do the same thing with the channel one, we can see the outline it has. So I could have fun doing this all day long, but um, I really just wanted to, to show that it it is fun to play with, and there are some very useful waveforms you could you could make to try out your circuitry. This has the ability to um, use sort of daisy chain these things between the two channels, so you can have one channel being the source for a second channel and you can select things like filtering so that you can generate the signal on one channel and then pass it through the second channel of, uh, and filter it on the way so that you use the second output as a filtered version of the first one all right so i'm going to find some other things to do with this but uh, this little video should give you some idea what we can do with generating internal waveforms.